This is the main program player. You can pause or play the video anytime. All the slides are closed captions. The default setting is off. Click on CC to turn on closed captions. You can adjust the audio level. At the top right, you will see four options. You can use the menu to view all topics for easy navigation. The resources section includes useful links to the external websites. Glossary includes a list of commonly used terms in this program. Notes that shows the written version of the audio. Use the reload button to reload the audio. Use the next button to go to the next slide. Use the previous button to go to the previous slide. Please note the next button is only available after the media on the slider bar completes. Use the slider bar to review aspects of the slide. Please note by default the next button is grayed out. You have to go through the full content on the slide before you can proceed to the next slide. Our terms and conditions and privacy policy can be found under introduction section. Please take a few minutes to read our terms and privacy policy. Multi-factor authentication for student verification is used at initial login. You will be prompted to enter your username and password in a unique four-digit PIN code or provide an answer to one of the security questions. You will be asked to verify your identity within the course at random intervals and before each assessment. You have total of three attempts to authenticate. After three unsuccessful attempts, your account will be blocked and you will have to contact our support line. You can call us at 647-760-5505 to unblock your account. You will be required to re-authenticate after 15 minutes of inactivity. You will be asked to take a 10-minute break at a minimum of every two hours during the course. Please note you will not be able to access the next lesson during this 10-minute break time. If you need any assistance or you experience any issues during the duration of the course, you can connect with us through our ticketing system. To issue a new ticket, you can click on Course Support then New Ticket tab. Write your issue in the summary and provide a detailed description. We will resolve your issues within 48 hours. You have three attempts to pass your final exam. Students who fail all three attempts will be required to contact their driving school for further steps. Once you finish 10 hours of in-car driving instructions, your driving school will complete the online certification. This will give you a four-month reduction in time for the road test.